Over the last few decades, Australia has experienced widespread loss of fish habitat. And we, the recreational fishing community, can do something about it. Being those eyes on the water, we are in a perfect position to investigate these changes and take action. Welcome to Fisher Science. The process of rec fishers collecting data on their own accord to benefit future habitat projects. First off the bat is habitat mapping. Habitat mapping is the process whereby anglers use fish finding sonars, like a Lorant, to map all the structure located beneath the water surface. You can also collect information about the distribution of seagrass beds, riparian trees and erosion along the bank. By doing so, you're collecting information that will influence future habitat projects by identifying vulnerable areas that need some love. Next is the search for water bugs. Water bugs are identified based on their features and tell us a tale about the level of water quality they need to survive. Some being fragile and others being a bit more sturdy that can survive in lower water qualities. By monitoring your water and collecting bugs, we can understand not only what bugs are there, but what the water quality is like on that stretch of the river. Next up is the discovery of sources of rubbish. By collecting data about the waste you collect and submitting it to the Australian Marine Debris Initiative database, you can help set up strategies to ensure this type of littering doesn't happen again. Following this, we have the use of underwater video technology. Ever wondered what's below the surface? Of course you have, you're a fisher. Now let's get the bruvs out. These baited underwater videos help us understand the abundance of species in a certain area. Place them before and after a shellfish reef restoration or a tree planting and you'll see a difference in the amount of fish that populate that area. Information we can get from bruvs include fish numbers, fish species, habitat types and feeding behaviour. Next on the list is DNA sampling. All animals leave traces of genetic material as they move throughout the environment. This material is known as environmental DNA and can originate from skin cells, faeces or even individual scales. Environmental DNA sampling is the detection of a fish's DNA from a sample to show that they are present in that waterway. Fishes are also well placed to help with DNA sampling on the go. The first being flesh sampling. This is the process of taking a small flesh sample from your catch and submitting that to researchers to understand things about their diet, primary habitat, water quality and reproduction. There are loads of projects across the state that you can partake in. Check out Steve Starling as he takes fin clip samples from Dusky Flathead down on his local waterway in southern New South Wales. Steve is doing this as a part of a research program with DPI Fisheries, which will allow us to better understand flathead stocks along the east coast of New South Wales. Steve also takes part in a project down in Burrow Lakes, where rec fishers are asked to take a small flesh sample from their catch as a way to understand what the fish are eating in that waterway. If you love the water, but don't find yourself fishing every week, then don't worry, you too can get involved in some fisher science projects. As locals, you are the eyes on the water and the spokesperson for that waterway. If you see change or an issue in your local system, we want to hear from you. Whether it be on a walk, a run, a fish or a paddle, a few minutes recording what you see when it comes to water quality, bank structure, rubbish or fish habitat can go a long way to better understand how our waterways are going. It all starts with you. Do it all, just the ones you're interested in, in the places you like or at a time that works for you. It doesn't matter. Have a go at Fisher Science, because it helps us to get that big picture of what we need to make fish habitat better in Australia. To find out more or to get involved, head over to ozfish.org.au.